Welcome to another show, we're Sid, <laughs> and today I'm going to be showing you the mirror patch in Spark AR Studio. Now it's pretty simple, maybe self-explanatory, but there are some small details that I'm going to go over which might help make things a little bit cooler. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do tap to change and how to add the interactions that make it work in a pretty consistent way. And then I might do a video tomorrow where I expand on that and create some more trippy visuals because that's what I like doing. I like taking simple patches and making them look really weird. So, oh God, <laughs> let's get right into it, I guess. Okay, so here we are in a new project. Switch over to 2D view, open up and show the patch editor, make it a little bit bigger. Although we don't need too much space for this one. There's not that many patches and increase the size of your preview window. Nice. Now I'm gonna go to the library, patch assets and type in mirror and we can import the mirror patch into our project. Now we can drag that into our patch editor and we'll come back to it in a second. Next, we're gonna come up to the camera and hit texture extraction to create a camera texture, which will appear down here in your assets panel. Then we're gonna add an object to our scene. We're gonna make it a rectangle, fill the width, fill the height, add a new material and change the shader type from standard to flat. Now you wanna take the camera texture that we've created and drag that in here as a patch. Now we're gonna connect from the RGB alpha output here to the texture input of our mirror shader. Then we're gonna create a diffuse texture patch for our material for the rectangle. And we're gonna connect that up as well. And now we have our mirror output. Uh, there is no interaction though, so you can tap on the screen as much as you like and nothing's gonna happen. But you can manually change the mirror style between the range of one and 12. So if I switch it to two, you'll see it has a different variation of mirror. Six has a different one. And you can choose which one you want in your effect. Uh, but that's pretty simple, it's kind of boring, and the user can't interact with it to change the mirror type. So what we're going to do next is add a screen tap, and if we drag out from the gesture state output here, then we can create a counter, and a counter basically allows you to cycle through uh, any number of events, so in this case the maximum count is by default set of 5. But we can increase that number to anything we like, so in this case it will be 12. And if we connect from this count output to the mirror style input, now we can tap on the screen and cycle through each of the mirror styles. As you might have noticed though, I hit refresh and I'll show you again. I can tap it once and absolutely nothing happens. And I actually have to tap it for a second time before the cycle starts looping. So that annoyed me and I was desperate to figure it out because my brain was itching a lot. Uh, and eventually I did. So if we drag out here from this count, we can create an add patch, which adds two numbers together. And the first one will be the counter. So the input from this counter will go into our first value here and that will be added to the second value, which in this case, we're gonna to change to one. So we just wanna add one to the count. And now if we output that through our mirror style instead, so pipe that through the middle. Now, if we hit refresh, then you can tap and it immediately starts cycling through each of the styles rather than having to double tap that first time. So that was something that annoyed me. I asked in the Spark AR community Facebook group and I eventually figured that one out. So thank you to that person. Can't remember your name right now, but appreciate it. Uh, and yeah. There's not much more to this. I do wanna expand on this concept in a future video, take the mirror patch and combine it with some other patches to create what I think is pretty cool trippy visual. I like the opacity feature as I've demonstrated in a number of previous videos. So I wanna take that, the mirror patch, combine it with maybe an adjust colors and something like that to create what I think will be a pretty nice filter. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video and you found anything I said useful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. We've just passed 1300 subscribers, which is nuts. Uh, can't believe that, quite honestly. I'm very grateful. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hello, did you know I have a Gumroad page where I'm selling a bunch of filters? If not, check it out, link's in the description. I also have a Patreon where you can get them at a discounted rate and support the channel. Thank you.